hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to crochet this ripple stitch rock or sleeve some people call it the bolero however you want to call it so let's get started For this tutorial, we'll be needing a yarn. I'm using this brand of yarn and it's light weighted, but I'm going to be doubling the strand. So if you have a size for acrylic yarn or a worsted weight yarn, it's also perfect for this project. The yarn weighs 40 gram. I'm using a total of nine pieces. I used five of this color, two of this color and two of this color. We'll also be needing a 3.5 millimeter hook a 4.5 millimeter hook and a 5.5 millimeter hook why i'm using different hooks is because of the flare i want in the handle but if you don't want any flare in the handle you can stick to one hook and then you need a scissors and a measuring tape we are going to begin this project by making a sample swatch this pattern is worked in a multiple of 22 plus 3 chains so to begin that, I'm going to start by making 44 chains plus 3 chains. So now I'll start by making a slip knot. And then I'm going to make 44 chains. After making your 44 chain, you're going to hold this last chain. And you're going to make a turning chain, which is 3 chains. And then on that place you are holding, you're going to make one double crochet. Now we're going to begin our pattern repeat. For our pattern repeat, you're going to chain one and you skip a chain and you make a double crochet on the next chain. You're going to chain one, you skip a chain and you go to the next chain and make a double crochet. You're going to chain one skip a chain and on the next one you make a double crochet you chain one you skip a chain and you go to the next one and make a double crochet so in total now we have one two three four separate double crochet now to begin the ripple now you're going to chain one and you skip a chain and on the next one you make three double crochet on that same stitch chain one and you skip a chain again and you go to the next chain and make a double crochet you chain one you skip a chain and you go to the next chain and make a double crochet chain one again skip a chain go to the next one and make a double crochet chain one skip a chain and go to the next one and make a double crochet now we have another four separate double crochet now you're going to chain one yarn over you skip a chain and you place your hook here you pull up the loop and you pull through two and you're not going to pull through these two again you yarn over and on the next chain you make another double crochet this time you're just going to pull through these two like this you yarn over again you go to the next one and you pull up the loop and you pull through two so now in total we are having four loops on the hook so you're going to pull through all of them now you chain one and you yarn over you skip a chain and you make another four separate double crochet you skip a chain you go to the next one skip a chain and you go to the next one you skip a chain and you go to the next one now in total we have four separate double crochet now you're going to chain no, one and you're going to skip a chain and you make three double crochet on the next stitch so you chain one you skip a chain and you go through the next one you make another four separate double crochet Now we have four separate double crochet. So we'll always be having three chains remaining here. 
at the end of each row finishing this row you are going to chain one and you're going to skip a chain and you make one double crochet here but you're not going to finish it put you two you leave it here and then you're going to make another double crochet pull through two and now you have three loops on the hook and you pull through all now successfully made one double crochet on two stitches now for the next row we're going to chain one and you turn your work on this point here you're going to place your hook there and you make a single crochet now on this place where you made your chain one you place your hook and you make a single crochet on top of here you place your hook and you make a single crochet on this chain one space you place your hook there and you make a single crochet now on this one here again so basically you're going to be making single crochet on the chain one spaces and on the double crochet spaces Now when you've gotten there, you're just going to make single crochet on the double crochet spaces. When you've gotten here, on this point here, you make a double crochet. And on the chain one space you make a double crochet so you are going to repeat this to the end of the row when you've gotten to the ending here you're going to make a single crochet on this chain one space and you're going to make a single crochet here now we've come to the end of let me say this is row one now for the next row you're going to chain three now on this point here you're not going to make a double crochet you go to the next stitch and then you make a double crochet now in chain one now you make another four separate double crochet now you skip a stitch here and you go to the next one chain one you skip a stitch here and you go to the next one you chain one and then you skip a stitch and you go to the next one you chain one you skip a stitch here and you go to the next one now in total we have four separate double crochet now you chain one and you skip a stitch and you're going to make three double crochet on the same stitch you chain one you skip a stitch and you go to the next stitch and you make another four separate double crochets now we have four double crochet now you're going to chain one and you skip a stitch and on this point there you make a double crochet you pull through two and you go to the next one you pull through two you go to the next one and you pull through two you have four loops on the hook and you pull through all of them now you chain one you skip a stitch here and you go to the next one you chain one you skip a stitch here and you go to the next one now that you have four double crochet i've already chained one i'm going to skip a stitch here and i'm going to go to the next one And I'll make three double crochet on that same space. So you chain one, you skip a stitch and you go to the next one. Chain one and you skip a stitch and you go to the next one. Chain one, blah 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 blah. I don't need to talk again, right? now in total i have four double crochets now remember for you to know if you are correct you are going to be having one two three stitches remaining now you're going to chain one and you're going to skip one stitch here and you're going to make one double crochet on two stitches so now you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat what 
we did here just going to make single crochet on the double crochet space and the chain one space so i've come to the end of row two now the next thing you're going to do you're just going to repeat what you did here on this row and on this row so i'm going to be relating to this sample swatch whenever i'm making some calculations that are necessary so you'll be able to make a shrug that will fit you perfectly so i'm done with the fourth row and in case you want to mix colors like i did you're just going to frog this last one and you place your hook here and you take the new yarn and you call up the loop now you're going to chain three and you're going to continue what we've been doing so far So, so far, this is how the pattern looks like. I made it this size so that you'll be able to take your measurements because the yarn you might be using might not be the same yarn you'll be using. So now for the measurements guide, you're going to fold your work like this. It's giving me approximately 5 inches. Now my bust measurement is 36. So I'm going to divide that by 2. Which will give me 18 so i'll be making 18 for the front panel and 18 for the back panel my desired length is nine and a half so this will be the length of my work so but you can choose to make it um any length you want it's no problem but your length must be more than your ham hole measurements now my ham hole measurement is 15 so i'm going to divide that by two which will give me seven and a half. So these are basically the measurements you'll be needing for this project. Now, back to our bust measurements. Each multiple gives me about um, five inches. Now, five times three will give me 15. This is not really what I want because it will be too tight. That means a total of it will be 30 it will be too tight on me so now instead i'm going to be using five times four which will give me um 20. so we're now going to times that four 22 times four is equals to 88 so this is this will be our starting chain now it will be now 88 plus three which this three now will be our turning chain i really really hope you understand what i'm trying to say because i've tried to simplify it to this level now for example your bust measurement is let me say 42 your bust measurement is 42 now you divide it by 2 which will give you 21 right now you are still going to use this uh, my measurement because at the end of the day you are still going to get um 40 round as a measurement which is a little bit close to 42 is really close to 42 not like my own that was a difference of six now each multiple for your own might be four for your own might be four and a half for your own might even be three so you just use this as a guide depend on the type of yarn you are using so you are going to make the length of your chain as i explained and you are going to repeat that for the front and for the back panel i started with the white color and I made one step of white, one step of maroon, three step of baby pink, one step and of that. But you can choose to combine it anyhow you want. But I think this combo, 311, 311 with you, it's very okay. That's in case you want to combine colors. But you can make yours plain. So you don't save you yarn if you make it in a plain color. Now you're going to place this um, shrug on your body. And look at it on the mirror and see how wide you want your neckline to be now when you've gotten the point you want your neckline to be you're just going to mark it you're going to chain three and you turn your work now you skip just like we always do you skip this first stitch and you go to the next one and you chain one you skip the next stitch and you go to the next one 
you skip this one and you go to the next one so you are just going to repeat this sequence until you get to this point now after you've done that you are going to chain four and you turn your work now you're just going to be repeating a mesh stitch pattern you're going to make a double crochet into this one you chain one and you go to the next one you make a double crochet you chain one you go to the next one you make a double crochet so when you reach the ending you're just going to chain one and you cut out the yarn so you're going to repeat that for that other side and for this side you're just going to fold and place your stitch marker there on this starting point here you're just going to place your hook you chain one then you chain two more and then you skip a stitch and you go to the next one and you make double crochet chain one skip a stitch you go to the next one and make a double crochet so i just wanted to show you how you would join this um a new yarn to this point so you are just going to be repeat um what you did here on this place I'm going to repeat same for the other panel so you make something like this on all of them so you just know which one is the back and which one is the front the front will look more neater than the back now you're going to place your work front to front like this so this is the back and this is the back and then you're going to join them together now to join both panel on this space here you're going to place your hook and you call up the yarn now you chain one and on that same space you make a single crochet now on your chain one space you make a single crochet and on the, and on the double crochet space you make one single crochet on this chain one space again you make a single crochet so you're just going to follow this sequence till you reach the end now when you are done you're just going to chain one and you cut out the yarn so you're just going to repeat what exactly what you did here on this other panel i'm done with joining the two panel and so far this is how it's looking from the front so now i'm going to suggest that you stop and weave in all these ends so that you'll be able to see the root clearly i'm just going to pause and weave in all these ends yeah so after weaving in all the ends as you can see everywhere is clear um the road is clear <laughs> i should say the coast is clear now we'll start making our sleeves for the sleeves you are going to start by measuring your ham hole measurement now my ham hole measurement is 15 so i'll divide it by two which will give me seven and a half so i'm going to place my tape and measure out seven and a half inches this is where seven and a half inches stop and at that point you're going to mark it with your stitch marker the second thing you need to do is to take the measurement of the bigger part of your hand here and mine gave me 10 and a half so you are going to take your swatch sample and you measure mine is giving me nine and a half if i make three multiples of 22 it's going to give me around 14 14 will be too big it will even it won't it will it won't be nice so instead of like making three multiples of 22 i'm going to increase my hook size so that at least it will give me like 10 but normally i supposed to add like half inches so that the my sleeves would be a little bit freer not too tight but at this point we are working on a multiple of 22 so for example if the bigger part of your hand is nine you're on the safe side you can just work with um two multiples if yours is around 14 or 15 you can use three multiples of 22 so i have it in mind that i'm going to be making just two multiples of 22 we are going to do a math and we're going to like stay and calculate um how we are going to work our single crochet round that will give me 44 that's two multiple of 22 so now i'm going to count 
each of the rows here so we'll count together one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Okay, mine is 22. That means I'm just going to be making two double crochets in each of the rows, and I'm good. So, in case yours is um, around, let me say, 21 or 23, you just have to, like, okay, know that, oh, at this point, I'm going to be making three single crochet on each of the rows. So, you just find a way to um, make two multiples of 22 in your ham hole measurement i'm going to start by placing my hook here and i tie it there on that same point you are going to make a uh, chain one now on this same point you are going to make two single crochet on the same row you go to the next one you make two single crochet you go to the next one and you make two single crochet you go to the next one and you make two single crochet so that's how you'll be doing so you get to this point now when you've gotten to this point here you're going to make a slip stitch on that first single crochet you did now you're going to stop and count how many rapports you have here so you are going to start from here to count from here this place you made a slip stitch you start counting there one two three four five and on it must give you a total of a multiple of 22 plus one now for mine it's supposed to give me 45 so you have to get that right before you proceed to the next row now for mine i made three single crochet here and i made single crochet here instead of the normal two single crochet so in order to come um in order to complete to make it 45 on a dot now if yours is around 40 you can choose to start making three single crochet around this point so but you get what i'm trying to say at this point i'm going to change my hook i've already explained why earlier so now i'm going to chain three and I'm going to skip this first stitch and I'll go to the next one. I'll make a double crochet. Now I'll chain one, skip this stitch here and go to the next one. Chain one, skip this one here and I'll go to the next one. Chain one, skip this one here and I'll go to the next one chain one skip this one here and i'm going to go to the next one right so now i'm going to chain one and i'm going to skip this one here and i'll go to this point here so now basically i'm just going to be repeating this pattern the last double crochet so it's basically like a pattern repeat so now you're going to chain one and you turn your work and you make single crochets round on the chain one and the double crochet space so when you reach the ending here you're going to chain three and you turn your work you're going to skip this first stitch here and you go to the next one and chain one you skip this stitch and you go to the next one chain one we skip this stitch go to the next one chain one we skip this stitch and you go to the next one chain one we skip this stitch and you go to the next one chain one we skip this stitch and then you go to the next one and you make three double crochet on that same stitch so i believe we understand the pattern by now and then you continue on the pattern repeat until you get to the end i use my 4.5 millimeter hook to crochet from this point to this point then i use my 5.5 millimeter hook to crochet from this point to this point and then i use my 6.0 millimeter hook to crochet from 
this point to the end so if you don't want a flare and glue you can just continue with your 4.5 meter hook it's just how i want my design to look like so that is everything you make the length of your sleeves as long as you want it um it's your choice if you want it to be short if you want it to be long very very long you made it you make it the way you want it so i think that's basically everything you need to know about okay no that's not everything you need to know i need to show you how to join this part so wait i'm going to crochet this handle and then i'll use this handle to show you how to join both of them together um we're slowly coming to the end oh i'm so happy all right i'll meet you lera when you are done you are going to turn your work backwards remove the pin So since we begin with white, you're going to place your white yarn at this point and you tie. Now on that same point you tied, you're going to go there and you make a chain one. Now on this space, you're going to go there and you make two single crochets. Now you are going to free up your tension a bit in order for it not to squeeze. So I've made two single crochet and then you go to this single crochet space and you make a single crochet but this time you're not going to complete it. You stop here and you attach your maroon like this. So now we're going to be taking all the short yarns along. Now on this spot here, you're going to make two single crochet. Now at this point, this single crochet point, you make one single crochet. We are going to stop like this and then you attach your pink. So you draw this um, maroon, the previous one, in order to secure the knot and then on the pink side, you're going to make two single crochet. And at this point here, you're going to make one single crochet. At this row here, you're going to make two single crochet. And on this single crochet row here, you are going to make one single crochet. On this space, you make two single crochet. At this point, you make one single crochet. Now you are going to curl up your white yarn. So you curl up your white yarn like this. On this space, you make two single crochet. And on this point, you make one single crochet. Then you drop your white and you curl up your maroon. At this point, you make two single crochet. And at this point, you make one single crochet. And you curl up the pink. So this is how you're going to be continuing to you get to the end. So this is how the joining is looking from the front. Now when you are done with your work, you're going to like measure in total how many inches it is. For mine, it's giving me 20 and a half inches. Now this is a pro tip. In this case, you're going to shape your shrug using your hand to sew or you can for me, I have a sewing machine which makes it easy for me. I use this sewing machine to sew from this point to my sleeve area. So from this point to this point is around 18. So this is basically what you will do in case your shrug is bigger than you. And you should understand that it's totally not your fault because this is worked on a multiple of 22. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. I really hope you found this tutorial helpful. 
if you did kindly give this video a thumbs up because it really took a great deal of effort to film and to edit this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in my next video bye